coming to you live from Johannesburg. This is Newsroom. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Shante Yankees. Uh, what to expect coming up in this hour? Lots of reaction uh, to the president setting sentencing of uh, a racist Vicky Momberg. We'll also be speaking to our report on that, as well as the issue around the testing of HIV and AIDS of school children in the Eastern Cape, all 12 without the consent of their parents. First things first, we'll have a look at your top story. You're breaking news at the top of the hour. Former real estate agent Vicky Momberg has been sentenced to three years in prison with one year suspended in the Randberg Magistrates Court in the north of Johannesburg. Well, Momberg was found guilty of criminal injuria in November last year. This after her racist rant towards police officers who were trying to assist her after a smash and grab incident. Mangoba Mkunu has the latest. A very good morning to you, Mangoba. Uh, what's the latest with regards to uh, the case and, of course, uh, the outcome? Well, certainly, Shante, I can say that uh, this is certainly a landmark ruling uh, in this matter. As you know, that uh, uh, before we've only seen uh, those people who have been convicted of uh, criminal injuria or hate speech being given a, a mere uh, fine for uh, committing those acts. You will recall the case of uh, a state, uh, a state agent, former state agent uh, Penis Burroughs, who also referred to uh, black people as monkeys uh, in a tweet that she posted a few years ago. You recall that uh, during that uh, incident, she was also found guilty of criminal injury and slept with a 150,000 rand fine. But in this case, we've seen the law really taking its course and really giving out a harsh sentence to Vicky Momberg for the same charge of a criminal injury. And uh, effectively, she's been uh, uh, sentenced to three years behind bars, one of them which is suspended. And this means that uh, she'll basically uh, uh, spend two years behind bars. And that is really a harsh sentence and a first of its kind in the country in such a matter involving hate speech. And uh, the judge, going, uh, the magistrate going at length to say that really this is a serious crime and therefore the sentence that should be given for this crime should be a harsh one. And she said that uh, this really indeed was a set day for her as well to be given such a sentence. But she feels that uh, it's in the interest of society for justice to, to be seen, to be served. And therefore, she believes that uh, Vicky Momberg should, should do some time behind bars. And uh, uh, that effectively means that uh, she'll spend two years in prison. Now, from the side of uh, Vicky Momberg, is she going to be appealing the outcome? Well, seemingly so, Shantae, it seems as if uh, she intends to appeal this ruling because uh, uh, just shortly after the, 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 that verdict was given by the magistrate, uh, her lawyers did indicate to the court that uh, they want to uh, apply for bail. You recall that uh, obviously now that uh, she's been sentenced to two years behind bars, this means that uh, her bail lapses, and therefore she is now supposed to go behind bars. And uh, that's what happened immediately after uh, that uh, sentence was given out. She had to go... Uh, downstairs to the south, to the holding cells where she is currently is uh, now. But uh, her lawyers are saying that uh, they intend to, uh, to, 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 to actually oppose this uh, sentence as well as the conviction that was given to her. And they uh, have asked to apply for bail so that she can uh, be released on bail. And they're saying that uh, they want this to happen because they want to consult with their clients. And so we're expecting them to uh, bring an application uh, for appeal uh, on Wednesday, uh, this coming Wednesday, the, uh, the next Wednesday, sorry. But of course, uh, what they are saying is that uh, they believe that uh, this sentence was unfair and uh, they want it uh, to really be reviewed by another court. But you recall previously to this, Sanjay, that uh, her lawyers was, uh, had always uh, argued that uh, uh, Vicky Momberg should be given actually uh, a, a psychiatric uh, a treatment, that she should be sentenced to psychiatric treatment, saying that uh, she did not uh, mean to hurl those racist insults. They were arguing that uh, she was stressed at the time because of the smash and grab that had occurred and that she was not in her right mind at the time when she did uh, commit this offence. So effectively they're saying now that uh, they want to appeal this matter because they think that it's uh, harsh and uh, it's really uncalled for. Indeed. Thank you very much for giving us the update there. Mangoba Mkuru giving us an update there on convicted racist Vicky Momberg. Of course, she has been sentenced to three years in prison uh, with one year being uh, suspended. We do know that uh, Momberg is set to appeal the conviction.